Yes, let's continue. Let's continue. Um, we are going to, in this tutorial, we are going to look at how you can make uh, the name to, re to be retained, okay, or the information you entered in a form to be retained when there is an error in that form, like when error is reporting in one area or the other in that form. If you want the information you enter to, be re to remain in the form, what are you going to do? Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to talk about right away. So this is what you're going to do. Just go to your script, to your form. Mm, sorry, you go to the form, okay. Come down here. You have to, in each of the form, in each of the form control, you have to add a value. Okay, you can add a value here. Let's make a space. Make sure that I'm adding it before the end of the angle bracket. Okay, this is angle bracket. I'm adding it before angle bracket. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so I have to type in value equals to. Then you have to echo the name. Then you open PHP script and echo the name there. Value equals to. Um, you open PHP script, PHP script. Just make sure you close the, this. Make sure that this very this way it's closed like this, like the quotes open and close. You get that? Then inside it now you open PHP script, PHP. Okay, you close it. Yeah. Then inside the PHP script you echo. You echo the name, this name variable. You echo it here. Then you close the semicolon. So let's see what we get now. So you come here and uh, <coughs> you come here and you type your name. Let's say Ushe. Which is Joseph. Then you you press this. This the error will report, but which will remain. You get that? Let me just make it be this way. Okay, there's something I have to correct here. Uh, let me go and correct it quickly. So let's continue. Um, there's something I, I have to correct here. Uh, let me show you what I mean before I correct it. Let's see if you enter with Joe right now, which is Joe, name here, and you click on register, then you see that Ushe Joseph will remain here. It will not be deleted. Okay, it will not be empty. Okay, but if I decide to return this to international form so that nothing is selected, like if you open this page right now like you open it you've not entered anything then you see do you see that that code you entered in the value will be here okay it will just display lots of code okay for you and uh, the code it will be included it will include the error if there's an error made it will include it here <coughs> okay and there's an error here and it is displaying all of them. <coughs> okay, so it is displaying error in your code in your inside here, and that is not what you want. Okay, do you know why it is displaying error inside this name name control? Let me show you. Let me show you what actually happened. Let's come here. Now look at what happened. This, if nothing is selected, like if no name has been entered. PHP will try to echo name, but it will not find any name. Remember that I returned it to it not natural form as in when I've not entered anything. Like when you open a page for the first time, you've not entered your name to it, in it. Okay? So, and when you open this page for the first time, PHP will, 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 be, will be forced to echo, to echo name. And you to search for the name to echo, the value of this name variable. It will not see it anywhere. And when it doesn't see it anywhere, 
when it doesn't see it anywhere it will not it will just report error here it will report error here and that is the error you are seeing in that in that name control so how are you going to solve it let's solve it quickly what they're going to do is that we're going to just say if it sets if it sets it sets then you say if it sets sorry mistake okay then inside it now you say dollar underscore dollar underscore post then you open and close the angle bracket then inside here you put a name name okay okay then when you do that let me say then you have to open query brackets and close it here okay so what i'm saying is that if this name is set that's if there's a name set that that is entered in that page in the in, in this control in the field in the name field let it echo it but if no name is entered in the name field let it ignore it that is what you just said here okay this will now stop that error in your code in your code let's see what we have so if i click here you see it has gone okay if you enter you should right here enter Ushi now and there uh, you submit you see you you shall will stay here why other errors will uh, will report you get that so that is how it is they bet if you return it to it natural form no error will be appear here thank you so much